group, but my name is Lisa Isley, and I'm a registered and licensed dietitian. Okay, I work for Georgia Cancer Specialist right here at the um, Colts Clinic. Right. The purpose of this talk in, is, is you are what you eat, okay? And we hear that all of the time, and it's so cliche, but if we stop a minute and we really think about what we're putting in our mouth, the, we are actually really what we eat, okay? Whether you like it or not. The Health and Human Service Department and the, the um, Department of Agriculture, they get together in 1980, and every five years they republish the Dietary Guidelines for Americans. And what these guidelines are for is so they, they, they had this great revolution that said if we have guidelines for our Americans that they will eat healthier and then in turn they'll be healthier and the cost of health care will go down and all that fun stuff. But in actuality, 90% of the population don't even know we have guidelines, okay? And the guidelines are basic. They're not very hard. You know, and I know you can't read this, but this is just a visual, okay? A lot of them, the, the guidelines are if you are overweight, you need to lose weight and maintain a healthy weight. If you, you need to watch how much sugar we take in in our diet, we need to watch how much salt we take in in our diet, we need to watch how much fat, saturated fat, and cholesterol we take in. If we are inactive, we need to increase our activity. And um, last but not least, if you drink alcohol, you do it in moderation. And of course, don't drive. All right, so five, um, one out of five of our meals is eating away from our home. All right, four out of 10 of those meals are eaten at a fast food establishment. And the fast foods are, are down here, like McDonald's and Dairy Queen and, and um, Burger King and all those. That's what we're talking about, about fast food. And the portion sizes is what we'll hit on a lot today because portion sizes today have tripled and quadrupled from, from 20 years ago. And our obesity epidemic has quadrupled since, since a decade ago. Right. Two thirds of the American population are overweight or obese. Okay, and overweight or obese, we talk about our BMI scale, and I'm gonna flip that up and we can determine that. But two thirds, if you think about what that means, is two out of three people in this world are either overweight or obese. Okay, when you are carrying extra weight, your chances for diabetes, increases, your chances for heart disease increases, your chances for hypertension increases, um, your, your chances from dying of a stroke, all these different things, your chances of, of getting cancer increase. So adding those extra pounds drastically is, is a negative for our, for our health. So More than 50% of the adult population do not do enough exercise to, to, or physical activity to provide health benefits which is frightening, okay? Exercise is there for, for a number of things that benefits us, okay? Not only do we burn calories, and a lot of people want to burn calories, but it also gets our heart pumping, okay? It, it, it rids plaque from our arteries, which is a good thing, all right? It, to me, it distresses my, my brain. It, it just it helps me breathe. It helps me. It's my time, all right? So we have to do it. We're going to talk about portion sizes and how they've increased over 20 years. Over the past 20 years, things have grown a little bit, all right? So 20 years ago, we have a three inch bagel. Okay, today the bagel has grown to six inches. Now we're talking 20 years ago, the calories were 140 calories. Today, they are 350. Okay, so that's a difference of 210 calories. Remember that 100 extra calories a day, 100 extra calories a day, will equate to 10 pounds weight gain in just one year. So 20 years ago, this is our cheeseburger. And today, that's what our cheeseburger is. Calorie-wise, we're talking the difference. We have 590 calories today in the average hamburger. That is a difference of 257 calories. How long do you think you have to lift weights in order for you to burn 257 calories? Come on, just guess. Two hours? <laughs> One hour and 30 minutes. That's straight. Just that's the, All this is, this hour and 30 minutes, it's for you to burn those extra calories that are an extra portion size. It's, n it's, nothing, it's not even um, taking into consideration the total caloric value of that meal. So these are portion sizes. We need to watch what we're taking in. So how do we know, you know, if we're out at a restaurant, how do we know or what's a good visual? And this is what we're talking about. A half a, um, one cup is the equivalent of a whole baseball. So if you are sitting there and you get mashed potatoes and it, it is this mound of food, all right, how many baseballs can fit into that mound of food? That's what you look at. Um, would be a cup, or a half cup is obviously half the, half the baseball. So that is more appropriate. Like a serving size of ice cream here is a half a cup, 
all right, this is a half of a baseball. But I, I never see anybody eat a half of a baseball of ice cream. Fast food have a lot of calories, but it has a lot of fat. And I visually, I'm going to show you some of the fat that's in some of the fast food, just so we know, okay? Because we don't, you can't see the fat, so you don't think that fat doesn't exist in that product. If there's not a label on it, you know, people don't read it and it's not there. So um, some of these things, some, some apply to this area, some apply to some restaurants in Chicago, I mean, in, in Atlanta that we don't have here. But first of all, I want to show you, in, if you have a 1,500 calorie diet, you know, we want 30% of your calories to come from fat, 30% or less, 20, actually 20 to 30%. So what I did, on a 1,500 calorie diet, you're allowed to have about 50 grams of fat, which is the equivalent of 11 teaspoons, and that's for a whole entire day. And that's what the size of it looks like, okay? 1,800 calories, you get 60 grams. I just want to show you both of these, just, just so you have a visual of how much fat we're talking in a day, okay? So if we go to, um, and I don't mean to pick on McDonald's, but there is one up the road, and I know a lot of people get it all the time. So um, McDonald's, if you go and you get a Big Mac, all right, the Big Mac itself has 540 calories, and it is the equivalent of 6.5 um, teaspoons of fat, all right, or 29 grams. Now, if we go back to, to our stepping, we're talking about stepping, 540 calories, how much would we have to step? We'd have to step at least 10,000 steps to burn fat. And what are we getting from this? We're getting absolutely no nutritional value except sodium, fat, and cholesterol, and saturated fat, okay? So if we take that Big Mac and we add a large order of french fries because nobody ever gets a small, I've never seen it, only in the kids' meal, and um, those kids' meals are getting larger too. But So if we get a large order, this is another 500 calories, another 25 grams of fat, or 5.6 teaspoons of fat. So this is how much fat, if you take those two together, how much fat we're getting in. And that's not, the, the calories too, and that's another 500, that's 1,000 calories in, in the food alone. We're not talking about beverage. Calories in, calories out, you've got to burn them, okay? If you're going to, if you're going to indulge, you're going to pay the price for it. So um, that's basically it in a nutshell. So, all right, well, thank you guys for coming. We are, we are officially over. <laughs>